Hey guys, what's going on? Cole here bringing you an unboxing video for the Microsoft Xbox One Elite controller as seen here in this beautiful packaging. Um, so I'm gonna give you an unboxing and a little review of how it feels and then I'll edit it in uh, after I play test it and do a uh, another review. So before we actually cut this box open, I'm gonna say something, you know, if you know or watch my videos before, I play with a scuff, so I'm used to having paddles underneath. And this controller isn't, you know, very heavy. Uh, most of the weight, I think you could say, actually comes out of the battery pack. So I'm gonna take this out because I'm gonna, you know, use it. That over here. And uh, I gotta say, this box is really heavy. Um, so there are parts to it that are metal and we're about to just go ahead and cut it open and, uh, give her a look-see. So I have not watched any of the other, uh, openings or unboxings for the controller. So before I actually rip it open, I'm going to look at the contents on the side so we can prelude because why not? So it comes with one Xbox Elite wireless controller with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So before, you know, with all the controllers, it has the proprietary port right there. So this goes to, you know, more like the PS4, where a PS4 has an extension port there, but then right there they have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So that's gonna allow people to use, you know, earbuds with a mic and uh, what have you. They, they can use a lot more headsets, uh, especially from like last gen, you know, 360s. All right, so when you first open, nice sturdy box. Like this, this is sturdy. You know, for the price you pay, it should be sturdy, right? So when you first open it, this is what you see. This bad boy, so heavy. You can hear that thud. Okay, again, I'm watching that, making sure I'm not looking goofy. All right, so we have the case and I'm pulling that out and it's a hard, well, it's not hard, but it's a firm case, you know, it, it's not squishy. And right now we have the bottom here. So I'm gonna actually take this out and uh, see what else is in here. Ah, this is where a lot of the weight comes. I bet you it's batteries. I bet you it's the AA batteries that they always send. Uh, I mean, it is a lot of the weight, not all of the weight. So we're gonna open this little tube. Some Duracells. Not, you know, promoting Duracell or anything. Not sponsored. Sorry, I have another battery pack I need to charge up and this is cool because um, you know you're gonna compare this to scuff and when you purchase a scuff as I've purchased many you have to buy everything separately it all comes separately um, and so looking at the the rest of this box here uh, you know, you got pamphlets, you have your quick setup guide here, and then uh, customize your Elite Controller settings by downloading the free Xbox Accessories app from the Xbox Store. So I'll keep that out to remind myself which what the app is called. So I'll just put these back in here, and then I'll show you what I just opened. Uh as to why I brought it up scuff. You know, with scuff, I had to buy a separate USB cable that is currently, I think I have it out there. Anyways, you have to buy their, their uh, USB. The Elite, comes with a braided USB cable. 
So you can just plug it in. And I'm telling you right now, like just holding this, it feels very, very well made. I don't know how many varies you can say without sounding crazy, but oh yeah. Like when it doesn't just completely unravel, I, I think that's good because it means the braiding on the outside is very thick, which is going to uh, protect your wires. So nothing crazy on the ends. Uh, it is kind of like a, a rubber feel. So it, it's nice and soft to the touch. And now that I have it all strung up, this is this is over six feet. It's, I, I, I'm going to guess it's eight feet. Let's see. It just says USB cable. It doesn't say how long. Uh, almost positive this is eight feet. Now the cool thing is with this USB or any USB uh, that has the appropriate USB-B end here, uh, you can hook it up to your PC. And it really, okay, I'm just gonna put that down. I'll do that later. Okay, let's put this back in the box here. And really get to the nitty gritty because it's been too long, I know, and I apologize. So, you guys can see it before I do. How about that? That was a hard angle. Okay. So without being crazy. Oh. 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 Okay. So I'm used to pushing back here, like where these nubs are right here. I'm used to pushing back there. And it, it's kind of um, difficult. Like, it, it's not real difficult, but it, it is slightly. So it looks like they go ahead and default you to have everything on here. Uh, by everything, I mean all four paddles. I'm probably not going to play with four paddles. I'll probably only play with uh, two. But... Man, they, they they move very easily. So they're held there by magnets. And I will say this, like before I've actually jumped in, I need to stop looking over there. I need, I need to move my camera away because I just see it moving out of the corner of my eye. So what I'm gonna say is it looks like these could easily be taken off, which I know is, okay, so it's not terrible. Uh, they want it to be easy to do. Like, look at that. I just took that paddle out. And I, I'm curious as to, like, if if I hit it. Okay, no, that works pretty well. Like, I hit it. Say I accidentally hit it. It, it doesn't come out. Because you have to fold it all the way over and then pull out. So, th that's good. I like that. All right. So, the rest in here is an unboxing uh, like I said, so it comes with this to hold hold it up at the appropriate angle. Like, when they take that much time to box something, uh, it makes me happy. So in the rest of this case, which it doesn't come out, but you're going to see here, we have uh, the domed thick sticks, which, oops. Sorry, that's actually... <laughs> the text from Amazon saying that my controller was, was uh, shipped. Um, so you have your domed thumb pads here and here, and they have a really nice, soft, soft to the touch, but firm. Like, I don't feel I'm going to wear that out real fast. Uh, thumb pads here, or thumb sticks. I'm not a domed guy, though. So, and then you have two more down here. So, I believe the other two are just longer than the one that's currently on the controller. Yeah. So, they're a bit longer than these. See? See the difference there? So, this is already on the controller. This is a long one. Which, I really like um for the fact that currently my scuff setup 
is on my left side, I have a short one. I'm on the right side, I have a long one. So I did that to see if it would work instead of using like control freaks or something. All right, so back to the controller. And again, this is just a like, how does it feel unboxing? Uh, because I haven't used it yet, but I can tell you right now, all of the buttons feel really nice. These are still plastic, but these are metal. These are a like alloy metal. It's not like, it's not pure steel or anything. Um, but like holding it how you're supposed to normal, one, the overall grip is very soft. It's kind of like polyurethane. And these paddles are very easy to hit. Very easy. So if you're wanting to get this and you're curious if you're, um, if it's difficult to get used to, I, I'm telling you right now, like, that feels so easy to me. Terrible looking at myself, anyways. Um, so some some more features here. You can take off the D-pad and then put on this regular D-pad. Just drop that guy in there. Snap in. Um, I will say that you can kind of you can see the green behind it. So. I'm, I wonder if they should have like made that a different color because see how this is green? I think they should have made that a different color. So it, it blends in a little bit more when you put that down there. Actually, I'm gonna leave that on there. I don't know why. I don't I don't really wanna use this. I'm not sure if you guys want a reason why, but okay. So there's that, paddles. And everything and I'm really excited to get a hold of it or and get it into some play testing uh, so the other feature if you did not know and I'll show you the port that I was talking about see right there that's a 35 millimeter 3.5 and then that's the normal hookup that we're used to so these little switches back here they are the trigger stops so we're gonna See how far that, that goes down? If I turn this on, all the way on, look how far it goes now. And then that means it's full contact. So uh, I'll give you more details on um, you know, how you actually configure it and everything in the application. Uh, I'm gonna go do some play testing to figure it out. I am only gonna play with uh, two bump bumpers, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the buttons feel really solid. I really like that. Like you could, I don't know if you, you might be able to hear that audible. Um, there, there's two button settings, so I can save buttons for one game, and then say I switch game, just switch it over. Or even in the same game, uh, say it's like normal, and then I pick up the sniper and then I can switch it over and it's more sensitive. You can fully customize this. It's insane. I'm so excited and I'm sorry, I'm kind of rambling, but please leave a like, comment. Let me know what you think about the controller. Are you getting one? Do you have one? What do you think? And uh, I will have another video about this for you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys on the flip. Hey guys, thanks for watching again, seriously. I truly mean it. Please, if you haven't watched one of the videos that are on your screen yet, go ahead and do so. Let me know what you think. I'll gladly take your feedback.